Betsy from Happily Ever After, etc. And I am back with another gardening project. So today I have a little bit of a different video for you. Kind of a tour slash um, update slash question video. I'm not sure. So I live, of course, in Southern Alabama, which y'all know is zone 90. And as the rest of the country here in America, I have been going through the heat wave from hell. <laughs> I'm sure there have been hotter weeks in other places, but for Alabama, the last two weeks, our temperatures have been a low of 93, high of 105, with a humidity anywhere from 40 to 60%. Most of the last week, we had 103, 104, 105 every single day with a humidity of about 50% which is stressful on me, but mostly stressful on the plants. And so in all my gardening groups online, I have seen a lot of questions on help. How do I water my plants? What do I do? And so of course the first answer is water. <laughs> and if it's hot outside, if you're hot, you take a drink of water. When your plants are hot, they also need water. So for the last two weeks, I have been watering everything in my garden twice a day once in the morning, once in the evening. And then as you can see from my hose, I've been spot watering certain things that are extra stressed, which is mainly newer things. So I just planted these Veronica and they are very stressed. Some Gonfrina that are very stressed and I have been supplementing those with water. Other things like hydrangeas get very, very stressed in the heat. So basically you need to be looking at your plants. Um, the other half of that is that sometimes you just lose things in the heat, unfortunately. I think my cucumber is just about done. It, it was almost at the end of its lifestyle, lifestyle, life cycle. I think I'm going to remove it and plant a new one in July. Um, but the heat at the end of its life was really stressful on it. Um, and most of my cucumbers that I've gotten over the last two weeks have all been yellow or orange. Um, even the small ones, they're just coming in yellow. And I have to attribute that to the heat because it's not normal. Um, so I just thought we'd walk around the garden real quick. I'd show you some things like my Sucretunia Vista bubblegum that love the heat and are going gangbusters, um, as well as some things like the Veronica that are not going gangbusters. And we'll just see what plants can take the heat, which plants cannot. We're going to try to do it quickly because as you can hear, the heat wave has finally broken at least for a minute and it is it is going to storm. Like maybe not this minute, but soon, which is good. We need the rain. Oh, we really need the rain. Huh, baby? Yeah. The other thing that loves the heat, weeds. The next couple days as it cools off, I'm going to be out here weeding like a crazy person. Okay, so starting right here, my three Super Tunia Vista bubblegum, they are doing great. Even the one across the way is doing great. They're blooming, they look fabulous. Even my lambs are here because they get plenty of water are doing okay. Oak leaf hydrangea. Now, some of these salvia, the smaller ones, they are getting a little stressed. Um, so I have been giving them extra water, but you know, different plants. Now we come up here, would like to point out that although they're a little stressed, my tiger lilies, they're starting to bloom, which makes me very happy. Now, right here, this is where I planted some new truffle pink gumfrina, which loves the heat, but they have been in cans. You can see right here, I planted them yesterday. They have been in cans, and so I have been babying them. Out in the heat was too hot. Up on the porch, they didn't get enough sun. So they have been really struggling, but you don't necessarily want to put something in the ground in a heat wave it will not do well. So I've held on to them, waited till yesterday, got out here and planted them. And even just today, after being in the ground for one night, they look a million times better. So I do think they're gonna be okay. Now in my transplanting rose video, most of the roses are doing fine, but this little guy, 
he is not loving his life. So you do need to watch him. So I've been giving him extra water and I came in and cut off, you can see, quite a bit of that brown. So hopefully he will bounce back. Another thing that's definitely being taken out by the heat storm, any of my foxgloves that were doing okay, it, they're a spring biannual, so it's the end of their season, but definitely a time for these bad boys to be to be done because they're not loving it. My Veronica, now Veronica is a perennial, so it will come back next year as long as I can keep it alive and it will be much better established so it will be able to withstand these heat storms. But Veronica doesn't really like the heat, so I've planted it in the shade under this tree in the first place. So if I can keep it alive this year, next year it will thrive. But I mean, this one in particular, it's just not super happy with its life. More bubblegum. Bubblegum loves it. My zinnias are also loving them. I, I pinch them back to about two inches before the heat storm. So two weeks they have grown this much, bushed out. I have blooms coming in on almost all of them. So once they bloom, I will cut them back a little bit and they will just keep growing. We come across the way and I do, I do want to go down in front of the shed. So if y'all have been watching, I just put all this cardboard down in front of the shed so that I can suppress the weeds because weeds love heat. Well, we are going to get rained on or stormed out, but everything down here, loving the heat, loving the heat. Look, this is the little butterfly bush we just planted that was looking so sad. And look at all those new blooms. Look at that. And there's buds everywhere. These are the Super Tunia Vista Fuchsia I planted and they are just budding up like crazy. Hydrangea even looks okay. It has extra, extra water. And my rose that we planted has so much new growth. Now this is, you can see why we put down all that cardboard because all of these weeds, there was no weeds here two weeks ago and now covered in weeds. So we got to continue to weed this area and continue to put the cardboard down so that we do not have to deal with this going forward. This is the butterfly bush that looks good. And oh my word, is this going to be a pretty plant when it is it is grown up. <laughs> These blooms can get to be up to 12 inches. Also, look what my mom and brother gave me for my birthday. Isn't it pretty? Obviously, I still got to get a patio put in here, but that was a great gift. And my gardenia is doing well. All right. Zoop. Let's talk cucumber. So... This guy is definitely stressed. I'm gonna have to come in here. The lavender also doesn't look great. So I think we're just gonna have to go ahead and take almost everything out of here and start new, which I kind of, it was, like I said, I was planning to do that in July anyways. I also think my, my watermelon, Ooh, let me, there he is. He's looking okay, but there was a second watermelon over here that I don't see anymore. So we'll see how he makes it. I've been giving him some extra water. And if you caught my porch planting video, look at that verbena. Verbena loves heat. It is literally like trying to grow out towards the sun. Whew. Strawberry plant. Loving it. Loving it. Oh, my rose here is putting on lots of new growth. So hopefully I'll have new blooms there. And while a lot of these are getting uh, colored out because they're getting older, my coneflowers loving their lives. I have to come back and cut all these spent blooms back as well as on the angelonia because it has all bloomed up and out. And there you go. The glads, they need to be cut back, but they did bloom even in the heat. And of course, 
Lambs here is loving its life. Hydrangea's doing okay. I did come in and cut all the spent blooms off of it, but look at those leaves and it's putting out new growth. Another verbena, and it is finally blooming just a little bit. I don't know what is up with that verbena. These are the only two lobelias that are doing well in my entire garden, so I don't know. These fox club look a lot better than the ones across the way, but I do need to come in and cut back all the, the tops. And then here's our little gumprina plants we planted. They are looking fabulous. So like I said, gumprina, once it's established, loves the heat. All right. Oh, we are gonna get rained out like serious. Pentas are doing great. Bubblegum is doing great. Bubblegum is doing great. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Salvia is doing good. My Vinca babies. Do you guys remember when we transplanted these Vinca babies? Look how big and beautiful they are now. These cone flowers that were glorious for weeks, they need to be cut back. And the pentas in here are doing great. Now, these Vinca babies are the ones we transplanted as well. They are growing, but they're not as good as the ones in their original spots. This rose is doing okay, but not as okay as I'd like. Dead Lobelia. Beautiful butterfly bush. He's looking fabulous. All of my snapdragons definitely petered out in the heat, so I need to pull those to give the Vinca room. Ooh, these pinches are not looking so hot. Literally, they're looking too hot. The one back there in the shade fine, but these two probably need to be cut back. Ooh, and see some of these baby lambs here. I'm going to have to go in here, pull all that dead, and give the, the live room to grow. Bubblegum is filling in beautifully here. Need to pull some of these runners towards the front. I want it to fill in this whole area and pull it away from things like this lamb's ear, so I'll just take these runners and direct them back towards the mass. These roses are doing good, although look at those buds on top. See how they're wilted over? Definitely needs more water. Of course, the rain that's coming will help everything more than any water I can get them. But, all right, these... Zinnias are doing fabulous, but the snapdragons amongst them are not. And everything down here is actually looking pretty good. Most of my begonias are great. Peonies doing great. These gumfrina don't have nearly as much color, but they are growing. This little rose has some buds that are starting to open. He gets the most shade, so that makes sense. And more lobelia. Oh man, that rain. All right, y'all. It's here. The rain is here. Does that mean the heat wave is over? Oh, I would be very happy. Very happy if the heat wave is over. But for today, I will take the rain. So if you have been struggling in this heat wave or if your garden has been struggling in this heat wave, you just know that that's okay. You can't control the weather, obviously. <laughs> Thank you for the tree, but I'm gonna have to go inside. If you are struggling, just remember water, water often. If things are getting stressed, water some more. And when all else fails, cut it back, start over. Eventually the rain will come. I'm gonna have to make a mad dash for my house because this is not a little storm.